Yeah. Okay, so I, I, basically, we've just finished a flower reading with Dr. Jelicic in San Diego. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this over Skype. Uh, Dr. Delisich was not in the room. We've got uh, four participants here who have brought flowers and put them on the table. The computer was set up so that only Dr. Jelisich could see the flowers. Our mic was turned off here at our end so he could not hear us in our discussions. But we could see him on the TV that is behind us and we could hear what he had to say. And how how did that feel for you, knowing that he wasn't here? We were concerned that he wouldn't have his presence here in the room. And that it wouldn't be possible for him to pick up any energy through a computer. Yeah, I guess that would be difficult, right? To, to really We really hesitated your... on coming, whether it would be the beneficial. Same. Or fulfilling. Or fulfilling. Yes. Right. And, and after he was able to read your flower and give you a, um, an understanding of what energetically he picked up was going on. How did that relate to your flower and to you? Very well. Incredible. It was yeah. incredible. As this lady said here, it was bang on. Most of it. Yeah. Yes. I almost can't wait for the recording just so I can it hear it again. To see, there's, Like you said, there's so much parts that you will focus on and you will, you know, run with that, but there's so much more that he said as well. So I'm really looking forward to hearing it again so that I can go through it. And awesome. It was really good. It was really, really good. And, and he had mentioned to one of you that, uh, that you know, there was some toxicity within your, within your body. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you and I were talking, and you mentioned that, you know, yeah, you, you've been on muscle relaxants for T... Yeah. What is it called? Um, TMJ. TMJ. Yeah. Like in, in, and... And so for him to be able to pick that up is amazing. Is amazing. Yeah. And I have to say that there was also one flower that uh, he talked about that you, you were spiritually exhausted or the flower went through the mill. He started out by saying at the beginning that the flower had looked like it had passed a few hands, that a lot of people had touched it. And it's just when it's an orchid, so when it was in its case with all the other orchids, it was intertwined, so we had to take it apart, and Carrie touched it, and pulled it, so yes, there, it touched only one person's hand, the person at the till wouldn't touch it, nobody touched hers, No, you know, just one person, ah, but and then know the leaves the other... got a little bit bent, and then in the car, when I was turning the corner, it was on my lap, and I was like, oh no, it's going to get cracked. You but know, he thought it had been through the ringer kind of thing. And, and you know, I bet you, because it was intertwined with all the other, flowers, all the other flowers, there's the other hands, right? All the other flowers touching it yeah. energetically. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. And that's how we started it. That's how we started that it. That one, yeah. So would you recommend people to, yes. to yeah. do this via Skype if they can't get yeah. him into their house bring, in person? I would bring some other people with me. I would recommend it for sure. And oh, as an empath, I could actually feel his physical presence and the healing within my body as he was doing our healing. She was the first one to be healed, and I said right away when he came through, I said, oh my God, I can feel it too. Oh, wow. It was very powerful. Amazing. It was good. Well, yeah. thank you very much, ladies, and uh, we, will, we will do this again. Thank so, you. Okay, then. Thank you. All right.